nice. I haven't noticed. Oh, well, let me know if you do. Well, you three have been busy. Kenny, isn't it great? I got it, huh? I think I can manage, Ken. I said I got it. She always could... has to play the gentleman, but I'll tell you, when I met him, he couldn't lift a fly. Well, everyone, dinner is served. Come on, let's eat. Sure. You okay, man? and pull that trigger. Just try to forget about it. Right here, Clem. What? What? No. Oh no. I don't know who to choose. Luke Kenny. Luke Kenny. Luke Kenny. Luke Kenny. Sorry, Kenny. I have to sit with my best friend. So what's the deal with your friend here? Yes, we were just talking about this Kenny. What do you make of him, Clint? I trust him. With your life? I think so. Walter was telling me his family died. That's horrible. A thing like that can hit a guy pretty hard. He lost his whole family. Wife and kid. He lost it a little after that. Lost it half? No, he drinks. Oh. Well. Hey there. Hey. Hope you like the food. Oh, it's it's great. Thank you. Peaches and beans. Great for nutrition. Not too great on the way out, though, I tell ya. <laughs> Really? And Nick. Luke and Nick. You guys sure do look like a match. What's that supposed to mean? I'm just saying you look like good friends, that's all. So, what was your plan here? Hold out for the winter? Actually, we were thinking of moving on. Somewhere up north. You ever heard of a place called Wellington? Wellington? The hell is that? Yeah, it's in the north. Supposed to be a big camp up near Michigan. Michigan? You got a hearing problem, kid? Yeah, Michigan. Think about it. Fresh water, lots of land, cold ass winter. I live in Michigan. Get slow. Sounds like bullshit. Listen, Vanilla Ice. I don't know what your deal is, but you're more than welcome to take off in the morning. That'd be just fine by me. What's the deal with these guys, Clay? Hey, fuck you, buddy. It's fine, Nick. We're not staying. She's staying. Please don't fight. Gentlemen, please, there's no need for this. Now, look, we've all had a long day. Please eat. All three of you, calm down. Pass me that can, Duck. Duck? Who's Duck? Duck was his son. Yeah. You kidding? Would you, uh, lend me a hand outside for a moment? Sure. Sure. So it's very dark right now because, um, I did it because film, there's a little night light in the background. So you can, you know, enjoy the background noise up there. I'm sorry about that. No, I used to be a teacher. I remember what it's like to be caught in the middle of two clicks. I suspect they'll find common ground soon. It may take a little time, but that's just how these things work. Everything will be fine. Listen, relationships are like any machine. You don't throw them out when they break down. Everything will not be fine. <sighs> Do 
you really think everyone can just get along? They say the world is over, but I'll tell you a secret. It's not. People are more political now than they ever were before. In the end, we can't change the world. All we can do is continue to learn from each other, to empathize, and use our heads. All war is a symptom of man's failures in thinking ahead. Steinbeck, have you read him? Well, we have plenty of time to catch you up on your reading. My partner Matthew is amassing quite the literature collection. I think you'll like him. In any case, the point is, as long as we have our wits about us, we can always make the right choice. Right? Mm, maybe, maybe not. Maybe, maybe not. What's the matter, Clementine? Is there something you want to tell me? No, no, no. You can talk to me, Clem. There's almost nothing you can tell me that would surprise me. I can promise you that. I'm just worried about the people chasing us. You're safe now. Don't worry. Matthew will be back soon. And everything will be fine. Hey, kids. What are you two talking about? Oh, politics. The hell? Well, being from Florida, I would imagine you know all about politics, Kenny. Man, I know one advantage of living in the apocalypse is not dealing with that shit no more. I was just going to check the windows around back before this storm hits. Give us a hand? Sure. Miss? Are you okay? I sold a house and I have a family. We're starving. We live down there. Uh, uh, of course. Why don't you come in, Miss... Bum. Walt, I don't know. Are you from 400 you Days? Like it's fine, Ken. It's a trick. You know this girl. Then we'll have to get to know her. Right, Clem? Walt, how much damage can this poor woman do? Check her for weapons. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Sure. Ow. Thank you. Really, but that storm will be on us soon, and I've got to get back to my family. I'll bring something out to you. It's a trick. You don't have to do that. No, no, it's fine. But what about your people? We've got... You know what, Adam? Stay put. Hold on. Right hold, hold on. Sorry, guys, I'm mad. Put. I'll be right back. I have a little girl like you. How old are you, sweetie? I'm 11. I'm 11. I would have thought older than that. Here you are, miss. This is too much. Don't mention it. I don't know how to thank you. Just help someone else down the line. Thank you so much. I'll be going now. You stay safe. You too. Clem, go on inside and get to bed. Walt and I are going to talk for a second. Well guys, I'm going to end off the video right now, so see you guys later. Peace, have a good day.